Hey guys, it's Jen. Happy Sunday. Um, I wanted to share um, so two Tuesday morning hauls, and I have some other places that I've um, went to, like Hobby Lobby and some online things. So I'm mean, just jump right in and start off with Tuesday morning. Um, this is stuff not from last week, but the week before um, that I picked up. So I did find some of the Disney things they've brought in. And these are the Cars um, stickers. These were only 79 cents. So I thought that was a really good deal. And since we, um, you know, have gone to Disney a few times and taken pictures in, like, the Cars lands, I thought that would come handy in layouts. <coughs> Sorry, I'm getting over, like, a head cold or sinus infection. I don't know. I've had it for, like, a week and a half. So hopefully if it doesn't kick, I'm just going to go to, like, the doctors this week and um, hopefully get some medicine or something. But, um... I did find this Disney chipboard. Um, it says you get 49 pieces. This was only $1.99. That's what that looks like. And it doesn't show you what is in it. Um, there was another package that was kind of open, so I was kind of like moving around. And, um, you know, it looked like there was like, you know, Mickey and Disney and Minnie and like names like that. Um, I found this Cars 2 die cut cardstock. This was also only $0.79, cents, so I thought that was a great deal. And this is what it looks like it comes with. So I thought that was super cool. I did pick up the um, Pirate Mickey for $1.79. Sorry that this is not focusing. If you guys need any SKUs, just let me know. But that's what that looks like. And then I did get this one that says Disney Memories. This one was $1.99. That's what that one is. And then this one is um, Seven Dwarfs, also $1.99. And because I got them, I picked up um, Snow White. She was only $1.79. And then I did find only one of these, which I thought was pretty cool. It's a Disney A5 scene building pad. And it says you get eight designs, four of each, 32 sheets. And I guess you can make um, some cards and it has like the cutouts and stuff like that. So, um, I'm not for sure really, but this is $4.99. I'll just go ahead and open this to see. Um, so it's like papers, and then some, um, I guess these aren't really like, you know, I guess you'd have to fussy cut them. Because it does say you'll need a Disney die cutting machine, Disney scene building compatible die, A plate, B plate, pokey tool, and low top tape. So I don't know if there's some kind of machine that actually cuts these images out, but they seem like they should be pretty easy to fussy cut. And then, you know, of course you can use the pattern paper for other things than just making these cards that they have. So for five bucks, I thought that wasn't too bad. And then I did finally pick up the other um, Dina Wakely Media Washi Tape. This one says number two. This was $3.99. And that's what this one looks like. And then they did have tons of, like, the Disney dies. But I thought they were kind of pricey, so I didn't get any of them. Um, they did have tons of Spellbinder stamps. So I did pick up a few because I had a, you know, or was already buying all this stuff and had to pick and choose. So I found this one, which is Turnaround Set 3. This was $4.49. And I really like these Seth after um, stamps for like mixed media and stuff, but I thought like the design they show on the back was kind of cool. And then I got this one, which is Turnaround Set 1, also $4.49. So I like the circles to make backgrounds, and I liked how they showed this, um, how they made the backgrounds. And then I found this, um, I believe it's Donna Salazar. This is Journal Words. This was $7.99. So I thought these were kind of cool to make your own like little... Um, you know, like journaling on, you know, like this has amazing, adorable friend. And then these are like background stamps. So this one is big cheesecloth. This was also $7.99. And that's a pretty good size. That's the size of my hand. This one is called Big Fabric, also $7.99. So I thought that would make a really good background. And then I got Big Wood Grain, which is also $7.99. That's what that one looks like. And then they show, like, you know, how image on the back. And that's everything from that particular trip. And then I did go this past week and found tons of the crepe paper papers they um, have brought in. 
So I went on my lunch and picked up all the papers that they just recently put out. So for the 6x6, I got the Gather for $2.99. Super cool. Um, Chasing Dreams. I was super happy to find these because I've been seeing people showing them and I was like, oh, when's my store going to get them? And then they finally got them. So, um, Confetti Wishes by Pink Paisley. And this one's super cool. I love the tropicalness of it. Um, they only had one of the Shamil box of crayons for $2.99. And this one, there's some patterns that I would never use like this. Um, or probably, I don't know if I'd use that in the numbers and stuff. But I love the colorful... Yes, and I did like the two cans, two cans. And since I've been buying the other ephemera and stuff to go with this, I figured mine as well, and I could share some of the papers with a crafty friend. And then this one is Pink Paisley Pick Me Up for two ninety nine. And real quick, so those were the six by six pads I just recently got. And then for the twelve by twelve. Sorry for the crinkling. Um, these are the ones I got. I got Chasing Dreams by Maggie Holmes. And these were $6.99. So I think everyone's seen these. So I'm not going to really do a flip through. Um, I did finally find the Carousel Collection. $6.99. And flip through. So I was super happy to find this because I have a lot of the um, other pieces that Tuesday morning has brought over. In to, for the past few months, and then the gather one, also six ninety nine, and quickly go through this because I don't think I had any. I don't have any of these ones. They did have bloom, which I know I already have in my collection, so I didn't pick that one up. And then I did find this um, authentic solitude paper pad, and this was um, five ninety nine. And I just really like the colors in this. Um, does have a, you know sheet that you punch out but I like the plaids and I love the thickness of their paper so I thought this would be um, great to save for next year or I guess later this year when Christmas time comes around again especially with these cut aparts and I like you know like the wood grains and stuff like that so that's what that one looks like and then they did have tons of these um Dreamweaver stencils, but the only one I really was interested in was this um, peacock feather one. This was a dollar forty nine. Um, they did have other images, but I didn't really think I'd use them, so this is what I, the only thing I picked up. Um, I got found the pink paisley wild child ephemera. This was a dollar ninety nine. That's what this one comes with. I love the pink ones and panda bears. And I did find this pick me up by pink paisley swatch books. These were only a dollar ninety nine. And I thought these were cool. It says that you get um, pattern swatches and phrases. So this is like the example they show in the back. And I was super happy to find this. I saw this on someone's video and I was like, oh my god, I hope my store gets this. It's the Tim Holtz Thin Lits um, Paper Cut Burn. This was $8.99. So really like that. And then I did find two of these I was super happy about. These are the Maggie Holmes Flourish Decorative Trim for $1.99. And they're like gold leaves. That one looks like and nothing on the back and then I did pick up a few more of the spellbinder stamps by Seth after because they did have I think maybe like I don't know six or eight other ones that I didn't have but I only got these two because I mean the 449 is a little pricey and they are kind of basic but I figured I'll just gradually get them just kind of like I did with the Dina Wakely washi tape um, you know as they have them I'll just pick them up here and there but this one is Windows 1, and I just like the kind of sketch frame of this, and I liked how it looked on the back, so I thought this would be cool on, like, scrapbook, background layouts, or mixed media. And then I also got this one, which is Windows 2. Also, it's pretty simple, but I really liked how they showed this and how they cut out the center, so I figured this is pretty simple enough to take, like, an X-Acto knife and cut that out, and then you could use that, you know, to make, like, a, um, you know, frame and everything like that. So those are my two weeks of... Um, Tuesday morning hauls. I mean, come back and share the rest of my um, stuff I picked up. So if you guys have any comments or questions, leave them down below. And I hope everyone's having a great weekend so far. And if you guys like my video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Bye.